So already here and welcome to another Marvel Legends video and I have been having some thought about how I approach these moving forward. What I decided to do is to basically cluster and bundle these figures together and I thought a good way of doing that would be to talk about them in the film that they're in if that makes sense. So today I'm going to talk to you about Thor Ragnarok. Now I have got six Marvel Legends that associate from that film Go through those uh, six in what I think is the, the best order in sculpt, in figure as a whole. So let's kick off, shall we? Right. Sixth place is Builder Figure Gladiator Hulk. First Builder Figure I finished, uh, and I really, really like it. Comes with some great accessories. His helmet can be removed. Uh, it's got some great paintwork. It's got a nice face sculpt. Um, but my growth with it now and why it's so low down on the list is that I feel that this face sculpt is a little bit dated. Mm -hmm. I think that the more recent figures, like for example the Endgame Hulk, just looks so much better. Technology's come on so much in these figure sculpts and paints so recently. And I think it suffers for its age. Um, that face sculpt isn't, it's a bit more comic than it is movie and that's the reason why I've put him at number six but he's still a lovely lovely figure and he's still a big chunk on the shelf so in at fifth place is Thor himself um this is the scene where he actually fights a uh, good old gladiator hulk um and he's wearing his more comic book style helmet downsides to it are the weapons are made of really thin plastic that just won't seem to stay straight. I need to try and straighten these again with hot water. But decent paint. Pretty decent uh, head sculpt there as you can see. If I'm honest probably the best Thor head sculpt. That I've got in my collection anyway. I think criticisms again. This is a slightly older figure. And compared to some of the newer figures. yeah, it, It's not quite there. In fourth place I'm going to go for. The Grandmaster. Simply because it's a bloody Jeff Goldblum figure. How amazing. Not even in the uh, Jurassic Park line did we get one of these guys. Um, it's a lovely sculpt. It's part of the two pack that comes with another figure that I'll, we'll see in a moment. Um, it's great. Great paint. Uh, great detailing. Can't get many poses out of him but... It's a bloody Jeff Goldblum figure, what more do you want? Um, yeah, as I say this, you kind of struggle to hold, it doesn't quite fit in. Uh, but once you get it resting in the right place, you can get a decent pose. So compare that face sculpt to Thor's here. You can see they've gone for more of a matte finish, it's a lot more lifelike. You can see how technology's come on a long, long way. But anyway, in fourth place, we have the Grandmaster. So now in fourth place is a figure who came in the same box as the Grandmaster, it is Korg. Um, probably one of my favourite MCU characters. And I'm so, so, so happy that uh, I've got a representation of him. He's amazing. He's only a, a kind of supporting role in the film, but he's, he's one-liners, he, he's comedy. Every scene is comedy, it's brilliant. And this is a great figure. He's got some really nice sculpt. Um, some of the rock sculpt is really, really nice. Um, people have been complaining that his arms are a too, bit are too short. I don't really see that. I think he's perfectly fine. Um, it comes with one accessory, uh, which is this club slash gun that can, can change around either way. It's a bit lacklustre of paint, but it has got some pretty decent sculpt there. It's a lovely figure. It's a decent size compared to, to Hulk. It's almost there. Which is what I seen being in my head um, compared to Thor as well. Yeah, it kind of works. Um, downsides to this guy, and probably why he's come only in third place. He doesn't come with a make, um, which 
is gutted, really. I would have loved for a, a little meek accessory. And I wanted one that much, so I had a go at kind of making one. Um, this is the first attempt, and as you can see, he's kind of... I haven't finished painting him yet, by the way, but he's kind of a bit too big. So I'm going to go back to the drawing board and um, try and make another one of these. Um, I have made a few errors with it. I started off using the green skull stuff for the head, which I might try and salvage from this one actually. But then I went on to milliput, and milliput's quite brittle for something this big. So I need to reduce the size, I need to change the sculpt a little bit. But as a prototype, as a first cut, I think it's okay. I just should have waited until I got the figure to get the scale right. But that's why he's in third place, um, because he doesn't come with a make. So this was a really difficult decision for me, what to put in first place, what to put in second place. And I've made a decision, in second place we have Hella. It's so, so close. Um, uh, but Hella is an amazing, amazing figure. Comes with a plethora of accessories. So you get a, a cape, so that's removable. You can take that on and off. Uh, it's made of like a rubbery plastic and it just ports in at the back. You get this little flame effect as well, which is pretty cool. And you get this wonderful, wonderful head sculpt. That is absolutely amazing. Um, but you don't just get one, you get three. So you can have that look going on. And unfortunately my one has uh, the hair has come loose so I need to glue that back on but that's bloody terrifying that's kind of I robot meets meets Hellraiser <laughs> um, but yeah bit of glue that'll sort that out but you get that head sculpt which is probably my least favourite this head sculpt which is my absolute favourite I think this is absolutely stunning Absolutely stunning head sculpt. And of course you get one other accessory. You can remove this hand. And you can put in this hand. Which has Molnir attached. So you can reenact that scene where Hela destroys Thor's hammer. It's an amazing figure. It's beautifully done. Um, and yeah, a couple of QC issues on mine. The hair. Also a little bit of paint on the shoulders isn't quite right on the flesh tone. But you can't see that anyway, but Hella here is a beautiful, beautiful figure. And probably one of the best Marvel Legends figures I have. So the best Thor Ragnarok Marvel Legend figure I have is Scourge. <laughs> this guy is amazing. Absolutely amazing. That head sculpt is probably the best head sculpt I have in my collection. Not only of Marvel Legends, but of any other toy I've got, that head sculpt is stunning. It just looks, it looks alive. It's done so, so well. The paint on this guy is phenomenal. Yes, he's not the most articulated because he hasn't really got his ab crunch, but you don't really need that. He comes with some great accessories. He comes with Des and Troy. Um, I really like this character as well. I love the fact how he turned good at the end and uh, this figure is absolutely beautiful. And he doesn't just come with that set of hands. And this set of hands don't have the trigger finger, but they are capable of holding his axe. So you can have that look going on as well. Um, it's a beautiful figure, really is beautiful. And him and Hela in a two pack, I think Pow have got them on offer at the moment for like 38, 39 quid. No brainers. Beautiful, beautiful figures. Um, and if you're a Marvel fan, pick them up and get them in your collection. Even if you're not a, a massive Marvel legend collector and you like Thor Ragnar, these figures are just beautiful. So, Scourge in at number one. What I'll do really quickly before I go is actually, because I've picked up these two two packs in the last couple of days i picked up korg and the collector arrived on thursday and hella and scourge arrived today so i'll just quickly show you the backs of the packaging if you want to read any of the bios or anything like that they are really nice packaging and here is the hella 
and the Scourge. So yeah, that's Thor Ragnarok. Probably one of the best MCU films. Um, and if I'm honest with you, probably has some of the best representation of characters in my MCU collection thus far. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Yeah, and if you see any more of these film-based reviews, like sets, countdowns, whatever you want to call it, then let me know in the comments below. I've been Sword Rider, and I'll be catching you again soon.